What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and this is my review of the new mobile G3. Now this was sent to me by the company because they made this. This is a brand new product just being released today and they wanted some people to cover it. I figured I'd give it a shot. If you saw the unboxing, you saw the specs, it's got a octa-core, it's got four gigs of RAM, it's got 64 gigs of storage, it has a choice between a SIM card and a micro SD card or two SIM cards, and I did try that out. It's actually pretty awesome. You throw two SIM cards in there, you can choose between each one for data. Say you have a SIM card that has unlimited data, but you can't talk a whole lot. You can use that one for all your data, and you can use your other SIM card for text. Say you have one number for your business and one number for your personal phone. Every time you dial a call, you can actually choose between your SIM cards. Now, when I got my wife the, a new phone, uh, they deactivated my old SIM, so unfortunately, I'm not able to show you that. Check out my unboxing if you want to see how the SIM card tray works and how to get a SIM card and a micro SD card in there, or how to get two SIM cards in there. So let's go ahead and get to the review. I'm going to go ahead and take this case off. This is the one that was provided inside the box, but the device feels so premium. Like, I can't even begin to tell you how freaking shiny and good looking this phone is if you were to hand this to anybody and ask them how much would you pay for a phone like this they definitely would not tell you less than two hundred dollars this thing is very premium it looks amazing the edges like kind of curve and go over to like like a like a samsung edge sort of it looks awesome and then it's it's just such a it feels solid it looks amazing. The only like negative things I would have to say, there is no headphone jack. So you must use the included adapter to plug in some normal earphones that you have been wearing for a long time. Or if you want to use it in your car and you've got an aux cord in your car. If you don't have a newer car, like I have an older car with just an aux cord, no USB port and no Bluetooth. So I literally would have to bring my adapter with me and connect it to my aux port of my car, and I'm, I am I have no way to charge it and keep it going if I'm using it for navigation or something. I've got no way to charge it and use that aux cord. That is a big bummer, but I still think that's a big disadvantage and don't quite understand why they're doing it. It might make the phone look more appealing, but it's really not. Uh, the other negative thing I'd have to say is the fact that they, some reason, decided to include the power button right next to the volume up and down. So nearly every single time I go to hit volume down, I accidentally hit the power button. When I go to turn it down, I always hit that power button every single time. It never fails. So don't understand why they, instead of going with power button on one side and volume buttons with the other, they decided to put them all right there. That is a big inconvenience. But it's like anything in life. The more you use it, the more you accept it, and you just be more careful. <laughs> it's like you know you're going to possibly hit it. So, yeah. The fingerprint scanner on the back is actually located in a very nice spot. It's just like the my Pixel and Nexus devices. You basically just tap your finger on it and your screen's on. No worrying about pressing the home button or anything like that. Now, uh, one of the last negative things I have to say is the camera app, for some reason feels so much like a, a like the iPhone camera app. It really does. And I don't understand why. You can download third-party camera apps and use a different one if you want to. And one thing it's not very good at doing is uh, taking a picture of something up close. That it does not do very well. So like if I want to take a picture of this, a lot of times I'll get a very blurry photo and I've got to go back quite a bit more and then I can get my shot just fine. Other than that, the camera feels to be pretty good. You've got all different types of things. You can go with a 16 by nine photo, which is what I like to do. We can switch it over to video. And we do have a 4K sensor in there. Now I'm not a camera nut. Uh, I basically just, all my Instagram photos I've been posting for the last little bit now have been through here, and a couple of them have been a little blurry, so we'll take a picture. I've, I just did a video, so the stuff's sitting next to me, so there we go. We can go ahead and just take a quick little video of this, and I can include it in this video, and you can get an idea of how it is, and then now we'll go ahead and switch to the microphone on the camera itself, so... 
short little clip, seeing how the video is. And then you've got different modes. You can choose between photo, portrait, beauty, pan, mono, and pro. And of course, you can download more apps that are third-party camera apps and get even more controls. All the specs on megapixels and everything is in my unboxing video. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I do believe it was like 13 megapixels, somewhere around there. Besides those negative things with the not including headphone jack, the power button, everything else about it, is awesome. Like I mentioned in the beginning, the quality feels amazing. The screen looks awesome. It's higher than 1080p and it is pretty freaking awesome. So we've got this little thing where we swipe up kind of like you'd find on other phones to get to your apps. And then you can search through your apps and find something like say I want to run a speed test. I can open up my speed test app. And it runs Android 7.0, so not quite Oreo, but Oreo is only available on Nexus devices uh, and very select other devices. I have been using this phone for about a week now, and I have had one software update since then. So you will get software updates on this thing through their little like software updating process here. This little guy right here will show you there's a notification if you have an update. So you can see here what we are running Android 7.1.1. And it's patched as, as of January 2018, and it's the new G3. So also in the settings, you can choose to schedule things to turn them on and off. So you can turn the phone, you can have the phone automatically turn off at a certain time and power on at a certain time. So that's pretty cool. So you want to save battery life and you're not going to use it all night long. You can go ahead and have it do that. This is set to power on at 19 hours from now like an alarm. So we do have the fingerprint scanner, and, and there's a few options for when you use that fingerprint scanner. You can choose to take a photo or video, you can choose to do a recent task, or back to the home screen. So you can go ahead and choose that fingerprint sensor to do multiple different things. If you're familiar with the Nexus devices, the, it's got one similar where you swipe down or up, I can't quite remember what it is, and it takes you to your notifications. You do have a one-handed mode. You do have system gestures. So you can go ahead and double tap to lock the phone. I personally find myself not liking that option. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. But you could slide it to capture doing a screenshot, slide to do camera control, slide to adjust volume. There's all these sorts of different options here. And then you can see that our storage, we have 64 gigs available and we have our 32 gig SD card in there. So we got plenty of storage to store apps and games and never worrying about uninstalling something because it's you need extra room. And then the memory here, look at this. Look at this. We have more than half of our RAM available. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You are not going to have to worry about this thing running out of RAM while running apps and stuff like that. So that is quite awesome. Under the SIM cards, this is where you can choose all your different options, see which SIM cards are in your phone, control which one does what. It's it's pretty freaking awesome. Another thing I found pretty cool is when you hit the recent apps button, you're gonna see down here that it shows we have two gigs free out of four. And we can go ahead and close that up. And now this number will reflect real time and show us our new RAM amount, which is almost 2.4 gigs free. This phone is very snappy. Like I said, I have been using it as my main phone for a week now, and the apps I use the most, uh, like <laughs> this Super Retro 16, where I play some Super Nintendo games every now and then. Oh, come on, let's get big. Let's get big. Come here. Woohoo! Uh, under some load, like I can already feel the back of this thing. This does get a little warm. So, Shadowgun Legends, I might have uninstalled, nope, I did not uninstall it. Shadowgun Legends makes this phone get really, really warm to the touch. Like, it, it's quite warm around this area right here. I wish I had something to read the temperature, but it is quite hot. Like, un it can get uncomfortable to touch. It's not uncomfortable yet but it can get there. So I don't know how that would work in the long term, 
as to like if it <laughs> can get much hotter than that. I don't know. Also, this is not stereo speakers. So if you find yourself holding your phone like this, I have cut the sound out completely <laughs> because that's the speaker. <laughs> so uh, I sometimes hold it like this just so I'm not blocking that speaker by holding it like I normally would. So that's kind of a, another inconvenient thing, but you know, it's something that's there and you just work around it. <laughs> Maybe hold it a little differently. I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw a case on there. Keep it from It's it's getting a little warm back there. So keep in mind, I am I'm trying to tell you how it is. I'm this is something I have been using as a main phone now. See, I can I can literally shut that sound out almost down to like maybe 5% audible like I don't know why they put it right there. So let's 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 hold it like this and not block the speaker. So let's go ahead and uh, do a mission. Okay, this is a game I haven't played much. I was in the beta, but I just did not like. I don't like mobile controls in games, so it's it's hard to play a game like this, in my opinion. I, I tried playing Fortnite mobile, and it's like, oh my goodness, I just I can't do. I need a controller. I need a controller or a keyboard and mouse to play a game. I, I cannot use a mobile touch on a thing. So let's go ahead and start this up. This is something you're spending less than $200 on. After tax is probably a little bit over 200, but you're able to do things that phones that cost significantly more up to like four or five times more can do. Oh, we got to take the elevator. So let's go back. Take elevator to the second floor. Okay. Where's it going to open? As you can see, it's handling things just fine right now. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Hey, Color me impressed. This, this little phone. This little phone. Honestly, I'm not making this up. I'm someone who got rid of my Note 8 because wasn't a huge fan of how expensive it was. And the fact that I didn't feel like it was worth that over my note 5 which is paid off or my pixel which i love my pixel it's my favorite android device right now and this cost way less than a pixel way less but it performs i, I would say almost as well so let's go ahead and do this one i don't know what we're supposed to be doing here i don't know if there's like a sequence or an order oh okay so there's an order oh okay Okay, I see now. So there's numbers. So it wants me to do four, five, and then one. Anyways, that's about it for that. Let's see how much RAM that was using. Let's see. Go to our recent apps here. We've got 1.8 free. So that was actually using a pretty good little amount there. So as you could see, games are going to perform pretty good on this guy. And all things considered, I feel that... I can totally recommend this thing. This is something I have been using for a week. If I did not have my Pixel, I would totally, totally make this my main phone permanently. But I do have my Pixel. I do love it. It does have Android 8.1. I feel very comfortable keeping this phone in my pocket and using this as my main phone for the foreseeable future. This device has been great. It has specs that would impress any nerd like me. And for the price, you cannot beat it oh battery life is quite good on it as well i can't give you a perfect scenario because where i work <laughs> t-mobile it does let's just let's just say it does not work i don't get the best signal here so my battery does drain a little bit faster than it should because it's searching for service and that's why i'm glad i have my work phone because <laughs> it gets perfect signal <laughs> over where I work and where I am right this moment. That about wraps it up. I know my reviews aren't the best. That's why I don't typically do them. I just wanted to make it clear that this has been something I have been using as my main phone whenever possible, except sometimes I don't get a signal, so I have to use another phone. Other than that, this has been my main phone. This is a phone that I'm going to keep 
and possibly hand down to somebody who has a phone that's not quite as good <laughs> or, or needs a phone. And I'll feel very comfortable with the fact that they are using something that I would totally use and not have a problem doing so. Also, I should mention, and I'm glad I looked at my notes because I did make a couple. One of the things I absolutely love about this phone is if we load up a song here, just a very short clip. This phone is quite loud. I'm using a directional microphone, so it's going to be quite hard for you to get an idea of it. But it's super loud. To chase money and power, next time I re-up, I'm going to buy me a chopper. And I ain't talking AK, so I'm talking with propellers. Fly to the club, make my old chick jealous. Thug motivation, it's a straight celebration. I see Jizzle in the shop outside Central Station. This ain't a mixtape, but the tape's mixed. Black tape, red tape, all on one brick. Get it on the flow, get, get it on the flow. Last night, I swear to God, half a meal on the flow. Whoa. <laughs> If you're not following me on Twitter and Instagram, please do so. <laughs> please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. This is what Josh do it about.